bloody ho, people. All right. Um, now it's been uh, it's been quite a while since I've been on the um, posted something on the channel. Uh, mainly because. There's been quite a lot going on. I've had some medical issues which put me out of commission for well, a few months, really. Um, and then as far as the bikes go, our internal road here, um, which basically this video is going to be all about, has uh, we've, we've had it redone. And while they were doing that, because I know I've said before, it's like one and a half kilometre road is our driveway. Um, it was just <laughs> hectic. There was piles of dirt and machines and stuff everywhere. So it was pretty hard to get it in and out. Even the four-wheel drive, I had to, you know, communicate on um, two ways with the operators and stuff. And yeah, yeah it was pretty wild. And uh, so that that took a month. We did lose a week with some rain and stuff. But uh, yeah, basically that's what I've been up to. Uh, I'll. Um, so what I'll do now is uh, you'll see in this video that uh, from the from the beginning, the way the road was to the end, um, which is now like a road rather than a track. All right, so we'll um, take you along on the uh, the driveway journey. Okay, up we go. This first bit here, that is the steepest part of the whole road. So, yeah, I didn't talk to Evan about this. Maybe put some other different material on here. I don't know. Oh, no. Well, if any subscribers out there want to send me a million dollars and I'll have it concreted, that'd be really good. Isn't that how all well, uh, <laughs> YouTubers get stuff? Well, they have millions of subscribers sending money and stuff. Seriously. <laughs> so that there, we can make it up. That was our original uh, sort of track up. I don't know if that's picking it up. That used to go back up. I used to live up in an old shed up there. That was the first track we had up. That was the second track we had up. First track was going straight up to the hill. Around about here, I think. It's going straight up here. And then straight up there. Yeah. Uh, previous owner had that in, I don't know how he used to get it in and out, but anyway. But, uh, they never actually lived here. You can see that this, <coughs> especially before uh, Tom put the rock on, coming around this corner, with it sloping towards the edge, we'll get up here a bit and all that. See the drop. They drop down. Sounds good a little bit, but anyway. get the idea that rock has, um, has, has, has done it so well over the years that's the intersection that goes back over to the old shed site which is gone now I pulled it down one it got to that make that out
And when we come down through here, what we call Magic Gully, uh, look at some old videos of mine. I put uh, it flowing in big, big rains. It, it just water roars through here, so there'll be some big pipes, big pipes and stuff going in here to take the belly out of this. So um, we can get trucks and stuff up to hopefully not too far away in you know, another year or so build our shed. Get a shed. <laughs> All Australian boys need a shed. Through here, uh, I did ask Evan not to do, uh, to, you know, very minimal damage through this little section. We call this Fig Lane. Um, yeah. We've got a, um, oh, there we go. up in here and this thick scrub there's um, all sorts of wonderful figs and you can see this one here oh see out the window look at that um, yeah have a go at the roots of this fig over this rock hopefully they're picking it up alright yeah so yep um so Devin yeah. <laughs> Try to avoid the damage through here. Just take that out. Thought I would. Anyway. <clears throat> Ignore the beeping, that's just my seatbelt. So, as we uh, come up to the approach of the back of the house, That going down there hopefully won't have to be used because there'll be a shed. Uh, I'll wait these to pick it up. Alright, so I'll um, get out here and walk around and well actually we'll just do the loop. Do the loop of the this will be the circular drive. She's going to go there. You see that flat area? Cleared that. And this will be the circular drive at the back of the house where the Pajero's parked there. There'll be a um, carport and, and gravel running into there so we can you know, unload the shopping. Yeah. So that will be the extent of the uh, driveway. Yeah.
day three in the afternoon on the way back from Brisbane we've had rain so let's see if we have any fun getting up Update on road and also there's uh, we're getting a shed pad done out the back of the house so this is our backyard at the moment Had to take out a few trees, which is a shame. But um, uh, 
but uh, they were too close to the house. We had been worrying us for years. So, yeah, man, it's a mess. It's a mess. Hopefully, it'll all come together in the end. By the looks of what they're doing, is um, to take stuff off, uh, skim it all out, level it, and then do another layer, level it all out, and then um, and then roll it, pack that down, and then do another layer, pack that down. So yeah. So here we go, starting uh, at the gate, and uh, yeah, heading on up to see the difference. I put these posts in myself because we have drainage pipes running through which uh, drop off down into you know, the big hole there where the pipes, are, uh, the pipe entrances are. So, so anyone else coming up, they know where not to go. They won't pull into a hole. Love the rock features that Evan did. Oh, by the way, 
the company that did it uh, was LVC Earth Moving, Evan Baines. Fantastic. The guys are just brilliant. All of the fellas that work for him, all really good, all very accommodating, you know, allowing us to get in and out. They'd have to, you know, make tracks around poles of rubbish and stuff for us. So, yeah. Absolutely magic. That's the driveway all done and dusted next on the uh, iron bike adventures uh, calendar <laughs> what do you want to call it uh, plan is the shed that's the driveway all done and dusted next on the uh, iron bike adventures uh, calendar <laughs> what do you want to call it uh, plan is the shed then which is going to be about a six month wait i um i've only just got the quotes in um i will uh, get that ball rolling next week and yeah they reckon early july well you know we'll see anyway in july hopefully they'll uh start the shed um cause this is now june no no generally july january it's now july and then January they'll start on the shed. I hope. Um, yeah. Then we can move everything out of the shed. 
uh, out of the house into the shed and then do the house finish the inside of the house off um, yeah hopefully we'll be back on the bike soon and um, get some more adventuring going <laughs>